audiovisual presentations so everybody can read yes thank you class so uh, so audiovisual or AV is electronic media processing both a sound and a, uh, and a visual components such as slide tape presentations films televisions programs cooperate conferencing church services and live theater, live theater production so so this format includes any informations or any or any instructions programming uh, presented with slides video or digital representation so uh, uh, representations must take advantage uh, of the medium so that's the Oh, that's the audio presentation. So, electro uh, ele electronic media uh, processing both what? Yes, Gabi. Yes, excellent, Gabi. So, processing media, uh, processing media both sounds and visual. So, and what are the components of the audio visual? Yes, Gomez. Yes, excellent. So. Uh, the components of the OG visual is such as the slide, tape presentations, films, slide uh, films, television programs, cooperate, conferencing, church services, and live theater production. Anyone in this class know what is OG visual method of teaching? Yes, Juan. Excellent, Juan. It's multimedia. So let's give a one million clap to Juan. Thank you, class. So what is audiovisual method of teaching? So audiovisual education or multimedia based education is instruction where particular attention is paid to the audio and visual presentations of the material with the goal of what? Yes, improving comprehension. 
tensions and the tension. So, Molten Nature is a method of teaching in which students acquire new knowledge and skills in the course of designing, planning, and producing. So, a Molten Nature produces a so, multimedia is a product that produces uh, anything that, any information. So, students multimedia, like you, all, all of us, multimedia produces will be what? Technology-based presentations such as computerized slideshow, website, or a video. So, okay class, what is the goal of MBA? Yes, one. Yes, the goal of MBE is improving comprehension and retention. So let's give a one minute up to one. Thank you, guys. Audiovisual presentation. Yes, Liam. Yes, what I mean is the step on how to create an audiovisual presentation. So one read the number one thank you one so the example of effective presentation format is the powerpoint and video so who can read the number two yes liam thank you liam so choose readable type faces so when you create a representation make sure that the fonts you choose uh, uh, you you choose are appropriate for the subject, audience, or readable from anywhere in the room. So compatible with the computer you will be using for the presentations like this. I will use a laptop that that is compatible to my PowerPoint. You want to read the number three? Yes, one. Thank you, Juan. So. Place visual elements on screen. Include the spaces between images or other visual elements. Make sure that the text is readable and use specific graphics or use simple graphics. So, everybody with the number 4. So, choose color. So, choose color. You can choose anything or any color that that suitable uh, suitable to your to your powerpoint so so select appropriate background so anyone can can explain any anyone can explain the number five yes Ria. yes excellent always make presentations background that relate to it that relate that's related to your topic and the next one choose visual and audio effects so everyone with the number six yes gomez yes thank you gomez excellent so so choose this visual and audio effects so example here is the powerpoint so uh, in the PowerPoint, you can choose the effect like animations and transition, uh, transitions. All the effect is nandun na sa PowerPoint. So, dapat pag naglagay ka or you choose uh, visual and audio effects, kailangan, uh, hindi, eh, kailangan yung, yung simply at saka yung hindi nakakalito sa audience at saka sa inyong mga bata. So, the last one is, so, everyone with the last one. So, thank you class. So, deliver a memorable or effective presentation. Your slideshow shouldn't be the main focus of your talk. Instead, you and your message are the main focus and the presentation should support your talk. So, that's all. So, any questions, clarifications? So, if you don't have any questions, then what is our lessons all about? Yes, Liam. Yes, very good, Liam. It's all about the audiovisual presentation. So, okay, class. 
So, okay class, uh, let's have a short quiz. Can we get one half of paper? So, please answer that. I will give you I will give you five minutes to finish the quiz. Finish or not finish, pass it on the center angle and pass it forward. Forward. So let's let's now let's now uh, check your answer if your answer is correct, right? So, so number one. So what is the question? So number what is A B stands for? It's yes. Oju Biswal. So number two is what is Oju Biswal? So it's an electronic media processing both sound and a visual component, such like and and live theater production. So, so what is MBE stands for? It's a multimedia. So this is the answer for number one, audio visual. Number two is the meaning of the audiovisual and so number three is it's an electronic media posting both sounds and visual yes so number four is what is the MBE it is multimedia based education so what is kiln it's a special kind of oven for yeah firing things like pottery and bricks etc so that's on class for listening and I hope you learned something and I hope that my presentations uh, will help you on how to create an audiovisual presentations on your report and I will assign all of you uh, about on how to create an audiovisual and next week you have a report on Monday. And that's all. Goodbye class.